friends, good day to all of you. Today I am back with a nice spice mix for Saudi masala. This is from the Nagpur region of Maharashtra where the Saudi community or Saudi clan was residing in those days. This is a traditional spice mix which was a family secret, well guarded secret of Saudis. They had small eateries called Bojanalayas where they prepared non-vegetarian dishes with this spice mix as they were lovers of non-veg food. So people enjoy these dishes. However, you can even try out some vegetarian dishes with it. So let's prepare this spice mix. Saoji or Saavji Masala An aromatic and fiery spice mix from Maharashtra. We will require peppercorns few, cloves 4 to 5, dagger full or black stone flour 1 tablespoon, caraway seeds 1 teaspoon, cumin seeds 1 teaspoon, fennel seeds 1 teaspoon, nutmeg powder 1 eighth teaspoon, 1 black cardamom, 5 green cardamoms, Cinnamon 1 inch piece broken, mace 1 piece, desiccated coconut 2 tablespoons, poppy seeds 1 tablespoon, 2 bay leaves, 4 to 5 dry red chilies, and 1 tablespoon of sorghum or jowar flour. You can get the list also in the description box. Dry roast the whole spices first. If you are visiting for the first time, friends, do subscribe to the channel, like it and click the bell icon to get notifications. Choose the all options so that you don't miss out any video that I post. Now saute these spices. Keep adjusting the flame between medium and low. Halfway through add the red chilies. This we do because we don't want to add them initially they may become black if you roast them for a longer time we want a nice and red color bright red color of the spice mix now add finally towards the end add the poppy seeds and the desiccated coconut continue to stir until the coconut changes the color and you will get a lovely aroma see that it is golden brown My kitchen is filled with lovely aroma of the roasting spices. Now switch off the flame and remove it into a plate. In the same pan, roast the sorghum or jowar flour. Continue stirring on low flame until it becomes light brown in color. At no stage will you leave this. Continue stirring until you get a nice aroma from the flour. Add it to the masala. In the same plate add the nutmeg powder also. Now the spices are cool enough we will grind them. Remember not to grind the hot spices because of the vapor they get condensed and become lumpy. Now I use a coffee grinder which is very good for dry spices. Add little bit of Kashmiri chilli powder for the color. Now grinding should also be done like pulsing, stopping at regular intervals. If you grind it continuously, the steam comes out and the masala becomes moist. It's done. Separate it with a thin spatula or a spoon. Remove it into a plate. Now repeat the same with the remaining spices. You can increase the red chilies if you like it more spicy. The second batch is gone. In and 
here goes the kashmiri chilli powder this is my addition the original recipe doesn't call for it now again grind this also half it through you can open and mix it with the spatulas here goes the second batch the flavorful masala is ready this is sufficient for 1 kilo of mutton or chicken or any vegetarian dish that you cook but saudi clan is mostly popular for eating non veg dishes their speciality is non veg look at this lovely spice mix so aromatic once it is cooled then you take a dry sterilized jar and fill it this masala stays good for a very long time If you want you can make it in large quantity also and refrigerate it. I'm getting such a lovely aroma of this spice mix while I'm filling the bottle. Now this is done. The spicy hot spice mix from Maharashtra is ready. Do give it a try. And apart from non-veg dishes, you can also try out some vegetarian dishes. like paneer mixed vegetables thank you for watching this video and check out the old videos from the archives as well take care and have a nice day